So here is the quick revision of our Michaelis Menten equation. Our uh, an enzyme substrate reaction is a two step reaction in which enzyme and substrate will combine to form an enzyme substrate complex and it's a reversible reaction so we have taken two rate constant for forward reaction rate constant is k1 for backward reaction rate constant is k inverse and this enzyme substrate complex gives us product and the rate constant we have taken is k2 the rate of a reaction can be explained in term of rate of formation of product with respect to time so that will become our k2 enzyme substrate concentration but we do not know the enzyme substrate complex uh, concentration in order to find out that we are applying steady state approximation onto the concentration of our enzyme substrate complex this we can understand from this graph this is a plot of concentration with respect to time so con concentration of substrate decreases with the course of reaction concentration of product increases but the concentration of our intermediates initially increases then becomes constant this becoming of the um, uh, constant concentration of es represent the steady state approximation what it does what it explains is the rate of change of concentration of enzyme substrate complex with time is equal to zero or we can say rate of formation of enzyme substrate complex is equal to rate of decomposition of enzyme substrate complex so rate of formation happens in the forward step of the first forward uh, first step of the reaction so enzyme and substrate combines to give us enzyme substrate so we can write the rate as k1 enzyme concentration into substrate co concentration this we write down as equal to rate of decomposition of enzyme substrate so enzyme substrate is decomposing in two steps first the backward reaction and other is the second step so the rate of uh, backward reaction is equal to k inverse and enzyme substrate concentration so we have written here k inverse enzyme substrate complex concentration plus k2 enzyme substrate comp, uh, concentration that, that is rate of uh, reaction of the second step so this we have written now the this e represent the free enzyme concentration that free enzyme concentration is equal to the total enzyme concentration minus enzyme substrate complex so we in in place of the free enzyme concentration we are writing total enzyme concentration minus enzyme substrate complex and after doing mathematics we have find out the enzyme substrate con concentration in terms of our total enzyme concentration substrate and rate constants so uh, on rearranging we got this third equation now we put the concentration of enzyme substrate complex from third equation to our first equation and we got this equation this represent the rate of reaction so here i have written r and this this uh, right hand side is same k2 and our value of es so here this complete term is constant so in instead of this we are writing km where km is equal to k inverse plus k2 divided by k1 this represents the michaelis constant this is called michaelis constant all right so instead of three constant we are writing km so our um, equation becomes rate of reaction is equal to k2 into total enzyme concentration into substrate concentration divided by substrate concentration plus km and this equation represents the michaelis menten equation we will be discussing the different cases of this in the further next video